character situations for the Lord of Flies. Lord of Flies, a novel that shows the natures of both good and evil, is, is shown by the group of boys here's Jen on Inhabited Island. The good being represented by Ralph, Jack being the evil for power, Piggy the representation of the outcast in society, and Roger the symbol of pure evil in general, and Simon the Christ figure in terms of kindness. This video will show how each character deals with certain situations if their designated roles or personalities are overly exaggerated. Situation 1, bumping into someone at school as well as drop their books. If Ralph was in this situation, he'll likely be apologized too quickly due to his handsome and fair appearance, but he quickly dismisses it and tells the other person he's fine. If Jack on the other hand was in this situation, he would stare at the person, proceed to take his books, and take the other person's books and throw them across the hall. If Piggy dropped his books after being bumped into, he would first go down to pick up his books, while, with manners, mutters an apology, before looking up and noticing no one's there. For, Mr. For the Mr. Evil himself, Ro Roger would also slap the books out of the other person's hand and steal it and run away. Lastly, if Simon were to be bumped into, he would stare at his books, then pick put his hand on the other person's shoulder, st staring at them. With, with the other person nervously standing, Simon then says, I'm sorry. Situation 2, when they forget to do their homework. In the case of Ralph, he would openly apologize to the classroom, only to be given a warning by the teacher while his classmates would probably shed a tear for his heartfelt speech that only lasted for 5 seconds. If Jack forgot to do his homework, he would smugly get out of his seat and desk, brush off any dust he had on him before raising up his finger and stating, I can sing C sharp. He would then be given a, det a detention slip. Piggy, ashamed of himself and disappointed, would stand up and try to do the same as Ralph did. After stating a sincere apology, the teachers would stare at him and ask, Who are you? After stealing someone's note math notebook, Roger would probably drag someone down with him, like Piggy, purposely telling the teacher that the latter has not completed their homework either, maniacally laughing like a villain while doing so. Simon would be too nervous to say anything, causing for both him and the teacher to stare at each other for a minute until a teacher doesn't scold him since he looked like he was about to cry. Situation 3, if someone is being bullied. In this final situation, Ralph, the good boy, would, without hesitation, run into the conflict and protect the person with getting bullied, ending in the bullies leaving them alone. Jack would probably consider the situation, and end up joining alongside the bullies. Piggy, although he'd end up beaten up in the end, would try his best to distract them. Both Jack and Roger won't help the bully person, while for Roger, he would start to laugh at them and join alongside the bullies. Simon, with his kindness, will run in there and protect the person getting bullied and doesn't care if he got hurt in the end. In conclusion, what is learned? Even though these five characters have symbolized good, evil, kindness, rejection, or cruelty, most of their actions in these situations are unrealistic and some of the boys would have done different things even if they have the personality or mindset of a trait that doesn't really go together with the action. Jack would have probably still helped a bullied boy or Piggy would have still been noticed more. These characters are still just boys, nothing more nor less. They each, they each still have human feelings even if they represent something else. They are not the embodiment of the trait, they are only showing what feelings we have.